Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this pinky eyeshadow look. So if you'd like to see this, then please just keep on watching. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Solve Revolution palette and this is just what the shades look like. You guys know that I absolutely love this palette. So on a fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with a mixture of this shade and this shade and I'm going to put them through my crease and I'm just going to keep on building it until I get the shade that I want. And I've already done my eyebrows and obviously primed and everything with concealer for my eyebrows I used the Maybelline Brow Temptation and then went in with um, the Revolution um, Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade and I do have a video on how I do my eyebrows like this and then to carve out my eyebrows I just used the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade F1 because I am trying to like just use it up because I do have the shade Extra Fair now and that matches me a lot better. So I just finished building that shade up some more and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm just going to be putting this on the outer and inner corners and through the crease as well. I'm just going to go back in with that first brush that we used and just blend it out through the crease so that it is all just seamless. And I will go in with concealer to clean up the spotlight eye area. I'm going to go in with a small pencil brush and I'm going to take this shade here and I'm just going to put this right on the outer and inner corners but I'm not going to bring it all the way in because I do want the light pink shade to still be showing. I've done this eyeshadow look um, a couple of days ago and I really liked it so I did just want to recreate it for you guys then going back in with the fossa brush and just blending that shade out So I'm going to go in with concealer now and I'm just going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to be putting some of that on the back of my hand. Oh. And then taking a flat brush and then just carving out the centre of my eyelid. So when I'm doing this, I do just like to look straight into the mirror and then where like my like pupil is, I'll do like a straight line from there down and then I'll like blend it, not blend, I'll like curve it round at the sides a little bit more so that obviously it's not just a really straight line. And then I do just like to keep on like going over the edges with like no more product on my brush 
because it does just blend the edges out for you. It doesn't blend it out completely, but it does soften the edges. And then when I'm doing the second eye, I do just like to keep on checking to make sure that I'm getting them like the same width and that they're in the same place. So to fix that at the top, I'm going to go on with the brush that we used to put the pink shade on the inner and outer corner and I'm just going to use this to blend over the top to kind of like erase it and because I have done it really thin it does just go away um, very easily. I'm just going to go back in with that brush and blend over this side to try and bring it in slightly and I'm just going to use this to blend out the corners of that concealer. I'm going to use that same brush and sorry if I'm whispering George has just woke up and he's just fallen back asleep. So I am sorry for whispering, but I'm just going to use that same brush and I'm just going to use it on the side and I'm going to put this shade over the top of that concealer that we applied to the spotlight eye area. Going to go back in with this brush and I'm just going to blend over the top and then down the sides just to blend that shade slightly into the other colours. To highlight the inner corner and the Revlon, I'm really sorry for whispering, um, I'm going to use the Revolution Pro 4K Highlighter Palette in Rose Gold and I did do a testing video on all of these, um, on most of the new um, Revolution Pro range, that is my last video and I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to highlight with that. You really don't need a lot of this product. I'm just going to blend that out slightly. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then apply mascara and I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and this is what the wand looks like. I absolutely love this mascara. Like, it's just amazing. So that is the mascara all applied and this is just what the eyeshadow looks like and <clears throat> I absolutely love it. I don't normally wear pinky curly eyeshadows, but I do actually really like this and I'm just going to go and record a video on the new Revolution um, Pro Full Coverage Foundation. So I'm just going to go record that, come back to do my lower lash line and then that will be us. So I just went and finished doing my makeup and testing out that foundation and it looks so nice on my skin. So the review on this foundation will be up on my channel after this eye look so i'm going to go in with some of this shade and i'm going to put this on the outer like part of my lower lash line and i just put some eyeshadow in my eye so 
I'm just going to blend it onto the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with this pink shade and I'm going to put this along the rest of the lower lash line. And I don't want it to be too intense because of how like dark the top of our eye is. I don't like to have like a bold lower lash line as well as a top like my actual eyelid um, but if you do like that then obviously you can go in with more eyeshadow than what I am and you can make it more intense I'm going to use the same mascara on my lower lash line I was going to use a different one that's got a smaller brush but I honestly cannot find it so I'm going to apply this off camera because I honestly need to get so close to the mirror so that I don't get it all over my face. So that is the mascara applied to the lower lash line and if you know any mascaras that I've got like a really small like thin wand for like the lower lash line let me know down below because I do need a new mascara for my lower lash line because I honestly just can't like apply mascara with a big wand. I'm just far too messy at doing it but this is the finished eyeshadow and I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!